Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am doing the closeout for the second week of May and opening up the budget for the third week. It's also the first video I'm filming as a 26 year old. So congratulations once again to me and let's begin. So I'm already giving you a very big heads up. It's going to be a huge spending week, but most of it is due to my taxes. I finally paid off all of my taxes, so that alone was uh, 3,262 euros and 42 cents, so you won't see that envelope anymore in my binder, so hopefully that's the last of the taxes for last year, but uh, let's quickly calculate all of the totals. So we did 41.63 for groceries, 18.92 in spending, 57.97 in dine out. It was also 8702 for utilities for April, 870 for miscellaneous, 10 for holidays, uh, 16 for subscriptions, 65 for birthdays, 175 and 60 for health, plus 2070 for upkeep. So in total, that was 3,763 euros and 96 cents. So once again, it was due to the taxes, but. Um, I'm very happy that I finally paid those off and I don't have that hanging over my head and most of it is due to uh, my big cash shopping, what I did after finishing the savings challenge for the box and also I paid, out, paid off the debt that I owe for my retirement. So technically now I don't have any more debts to myself or anybody else. So very, very fun and exciting, but let's close out last week's budget and open up this week's budget. So last week uh, we had a total of 695 euros to work with and that's what we did. And uh, for cash envelopes and bills, we have a rollover. Let's see, we had 55 allocated to groceries and we have 10, 11, 12 and 13 left over. So 55 minus 13 is 42. Then spending had 20 allocated and it has a rollover of one. So we spent 19 and dine out had 60 and it has a rollover of one and two. So that was 58. Okay, perfect. So that's all for the binders and everything else stayed the same. We put 15 rent, utilities got 20, miscellaneous got five and one month ahead got 50. So in total, let me see. The sun is shining in a very weird direction so you probably can't see the calculator, but I will let you know what is on there. So it's 244. So 695 minus 244. 695 minus 244 is 451. So we're bringing that up here to short-term sinking funds and everything hey, stayed the same here. We put 30 in beauty, 10 in birthdays, 10 in Christmas, and 10 in clothing. Then we put 30 to health, 10 into subscriptions, and 50 in travel. So that was 150. And then we had 451 minus 150, it was 301. So I feel like the sun is very, very bright, but let me check the camera. Okay, it might be too bright, but it's fine. It's, at least it's finally sunny here in Riga, because otherwise it was insanely cold the whole April. So I can't really complain. Uh, Long-term sinking funds, babies got five, car got five, deposit 25, Pets got five, retirement 105, technology and weddings also each five. So that was 155. And 301 plus 155 is, no, 301 minus 155, sorry, 146. Perfect. So uh, 146 we have left over. So we did put uh, in the savings box 100 and. Uh, 15, and then we put the rest in. Um, taxes so that was in taxes and then the rest uh 16 we're going to put into our rollover envelope which is gonna go uh in our next cash stuffing into the new savings that i have so i'm just gonna move it that um I'm going to move it to this envelope. I have some ones left over from spending in here. So I'm just going to throw it all together 
here and then in the next cash stuffing we're just gonna allocate that into our new savings but you have to stay tuned to see what new savings I'm doing but in total this should be 146 so we put 115 in the savings box because that's what all we needed uh, to fully fund this and the rest of what I had allocated I just moved to taxes so that's why this amount differs so 115 plus 15 plus 16 is indeed 146 which means that we have zero euros left to budget which means that each euro of our income has a place to go into our budget so I took a little intermission and I closed the blinds because it was just too bright and also I brought in my iPad as a little cheat sheet to set up the budget for next week so that's what's here if you're wondering but let's just start uh, this week we're going to have 670 euros to work with and to allocate across our funds so groceries is going to get 50 spending 20 dine out 60 we're going to put five into gas uh rent is going to get a 50 utilities a 25 miscellaneous is going to get a five and one month ahead a 50. so in total for cash envelopes and bills we will have 265 allocated so 670 minus 265 is 405 perfect so that we're bringing to here short-term sinking funds beauty is going to get um 70 birthdays christmas and clothing each is going to get a 10 and then health is also going to get a 70 holidays isn't going to get anything subscriptions is going to get a five and travel a 50. so in total that is going to be 225 in short-term sinking funds so 405 minus 225 is 180. we're bringing that down here to long-term sinking funds and babies is going to get five car is going to get five deposit a 25 pets is going to get a five retirement is going to get 40 which is six percent of our income and technology and weddings each a five so in total that is uh 90 euros in short-term sinking funds so 180 minus 90 is not uh, sorry long-term sinking funds so 180 minus 90 is 90 and i'm bringing that 90 here and i'm going to put it all into savings so we're also going to add all of the rollover amount but uh should we yes let's see how much we have but then these are going to change one 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So 22. Okay, I'm going to note that down. Rollover. So when we're doing the actual um, actual amounts, I'm going to write this with an array releasable pen. Uh, we're actually going to get um, the correct amount. And I'm going to make a note uh, that I have rollover... 22 and sorry if it makes no sense to you it makes sense to me in my brain um but yes so this is going to be it i'm probably going to um upload a video explaining all of my envelopes as i keep uh, promising you but i will do it and then a cash stuffing and then so many more uh, cute cool videos but that was it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel we have fun over here i'll be back very soon with more videos but in the meanwhile i wish you a very wonderful day and i hope to see you next time bye